Happy Wednesday. Today is Earth Day. So, um, we're going to start with pin the glasses on the donkey. Now, um, this is your typical, like, pin the tail on the donkey that you play at most, um, birthday parties. So it says, what's a party without games? At Jack and Jane's party, they were oh so clever and decided to have a pin the sunglasses on the donkey competition. So here's all of your student, all the kids, and here's what their number of on their donkey. Um, it says, help the kids can't remember, help. The kids can't remember who had which sunglasses. Luckily, dad took a video of the game. Below is a rundown of the video. Your job is to fill in the table with each person's correct number. So we need to figure out who went when during this game to figure out who won and who um, didn't do so good. Because you can see six and eight did not do too well, but we don't know who, which kid it was. So I'm going to zoom in on just this part. Um, so it's a little bit closer, so I'm going to read through it, and then you guys have to figure out who went when. So it says, Jane, the birthday girl, began the game pinning a bow directly on top of the donkey's head. Put a star, do something to, to help. So she was the first one, and she put it directly on the donkey's head. So we can see that that was number one. So who was number one? Who do you think it was? Next up was Tisha. So Tisha's next. Who spins in circles for fun and nailed the sunglasses smack dab on the donkey's eyes? Okay. So the smack dab on the donkey's eyes is who is the number for, for Tisha. Who, uh, after watching Tisha do so well, the boys began demanding to take a shot at it. Dave, so Dave is next, stared at the donkey, spun three times, and got close. But Tisha was still holding out as the winner. So he spun around. So Dave spun around. He got really, really close to the eyes, but what, didn't get it all the way. So what number is he? Uh, Mary jumped up to go, but Billy stepped in front of her, so they're trying to trick you. So Mary went up to go, um, but Billy stepped in front of her, so Billy is technically next. In front of her with sunglasses in hand, ready to go. But Billy missed, pinning his glasses further away than anyone else. So of all those people, which one's the furthest away? And you'll find Billy. While Billy was pouting about pinning the sunglasses on the tail and not the eyes. Hold on. Farthest, farthest away. Tisha, so Billy missed pinning the sunglasses. Further away than anyone else. Oh, see, this is why we reread a couple of times. Further away than anyone else. Billy is technically number five. Four right now which I just kind of gave you the answer F five six seven eight and nine haven't gone yet so out of one two and three four is the furthest away so I just gave you a hint Billy's actually going to be number four um while Billy was pouting after pinning the sunglasses on the tail and not the eyes Mary was up so Mar Marie was up. So now it's Marie's turn. Marie never stopped smiling, even when she pinned the sunglasses on the poor's, poor donkey's leg. Okay. So there's a couple on the leg, so, but she was next up. So is that five, six, seven, or eight? Or five, six, eight, or nine? Jack and Sam were next in line, and they tossed a coin to see who would go next. Even though Jack lost, Sam let him go anyway, so it's now it's Jack's turn. After all, he was the birthday boy. Unfortunately, the birthday boy lost his sunglasses. Or, or the birthday boy, his sunglasses... Am I missing a word? Unfortunately for the birthday boy, his sunglasses weren't anywhere near the donkey's eyes. 
Sam didn't do much better, but he argued that if it were pin the tail on the donkey, he would have won fair and square. So, six and seven are next. Ja Jack did not pin it anywhere near the donkeys, but Sam didn't do good, but he says if... They, it was pin the tail on the donkey, he would have won. So he might be the other one that's on the tail. Um, Kim was next, too distracted by sipping her lemonade, barely even got the sunglasses on the donkey at all. So she's the one that barely got the sunglasses on the donkey. Finally, Callie was up. She thought she would be funny and put her sunglasses on a pool noodle and pin from afar. But alas, the second pinner stayed the winner. So using this, you can put them in order. So as you figure them out, write the number in on which number of the sunglasses they were, okay? Now I have my computer, as you can see, I have all my things because the next one, I need it to be in color so you guys can see it better. So this is cake and ice cream. Um, In addition to the delicious cake, the twins are having a ba banana split ice cream buffet, which sounds so yummy, at their pool party. Describe using signal words how each ice cream was made. Remember, the final ice cream depends on what they put first and second, and etc. So what I did is I brought my computer up to kind of show you, oopsies, the different ice cream. So hopefully you can see it. So this was the first ice cream. So you have to stop from the bottom. First was a bowl. Second, they put on, I was calling this mint. You can call it pistachio. You can say the first row was mint and chocolate. Then they put on vanilla ice cream. Third or fourth, they put on syrup, chocolate syrup, then sprinkles. And at last, they put... um whipped cream with a cherry on top. So kind of like if I would ask you to tell me how to make it, you would have to write down exactly how to make it. So then over here is the second one. This is why I wanted you guys to see color so you knew what to describe it by, okay? And let me show you the third one. Third one should be super easy. Um, this is the third one. So start from the bottom, work your way up. And they save the best for last. This is like the banana split of, of all banana splits. Um, I don't know if Mizu is gonna help. I'm gonna give you a hint. If you can tell, those are cones. So you gotta figure out when they put those on. So that is pretty much it for reading today. Again, if you have any questions, let me know and I can help you out. Have a good rest of your day, bye.